Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here or not yet subscribed, please consider doing so so you can catch my videos every Sunday. In this week's video, we are heading to Alamo Draft House to watch Oppenheimer. First, I wanna talk a little bit about this theater just because its concept is so cool and I think this theater is amazing. So first, this insane theater was first opened in 1910, originally as a Nickelodeon, and ended up closing in 1993. In the meantime, it was used for storage and other things, but then Alamo ended up buying it and went through a $5 million renovation before reopening it in 2015 to what we know today. So Alamo Draft House isn't a draft house, but rather a movie theater where you can eat at your seats and not just eat in your lap. You have an actual table. You can order actual food. They have a large extensive menu and I ended up choosing something simple as I always do. I got a pretzel along with bottomless popcorn, but Zach ended up getting a sandwich with fries. Okay, just a second to talk about the tables and seats. So basically each two sets of seats has a table in the middle of them. So Zach and I were sharing a table. There's a purse hook underneath it along with a light so you can read the menu during the movie if you need to. The menus are inside the table. And then if you do not order at the beginning when the waiter is coming around checking tickets and taking orders, you can order during the movie as well. You basically take a piece of paper out of this little stack, write on it whatever you want, stand it upright on your table and then press the call button. And then the waiter will be notified outside and swing by really quickly during the movie to grab that sheet so that no one has to talk during the experience. As beautiful and amazing as this theater is, the one thing I wish it had was reclining seats. It isn't exactly stadium seating, but it more reminds me of if you were going to see a play where it's just like a slight descent towards the screen. So um, the screen feels directly in front of you, but if I could have just reclined slightly for a three hour movie, that would have been great. But again, this is something I quickly forget after the movie is over because everything else is so amazing. This is the second movie we have seen here and in this same specific theater as well. We saw Avatar actually during Vlogmas on this channel. And um, then I remember the seats didn't recline, but I forgot it quickly after and that was also a long movie. So it's not really a problem. It's just something I wish that it was. Alamo Draft House is now across the country and they're opening more and more locations and I find it more enjoyable than a typical movie experience because I want to have real food while I'm eating a movie so I appreciate that they do that. Oh and of course quickly about Oppenheimer. Amazing movie. No I have not yet seen Barbie. I loved this movie and I also loved that while we were sitting and waiting for the movie to start instead of having previews for other movies it was advertisements and commercials that people during the time that the movie took place would have been seeing. Alamo Draft House also has the ability to show movies that are on film and not just digital movies. So we ended up seeing it on 40 millimeter. I have been seeing all of these TikToks about how the Oppenheimer IMAX film is like so long that it takes you as long to walk from end to end of the film as the movie actually is and like the weight of it. Um, they're just so interesting to me. We did not see it on IMAX, we saw it on <laughs> 70 millimeter, but it was still an amazing experience to be able to see a movie on film. That was the first movie I'd ever seen on film and I really enjoyed it. All in all, I obviously recommend Alamo Draft House. If you are in this area of San Francisco, you'll be right next to Foreign Cinema as well, which is sort of the same idea. You can dinner in a movie, but Alamo Draft House um, is a lot easier to get into and it's also, much more of a theater experience and not focus on the dining experience, but more on the theater experience, which I enjoyed. So yeah, that's all for this week's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.